Richard Benton is a researcher in the Faculty of Biology and Medicine at the University of Lausanne. The biologist and his team are supported by the European Research Council for their work on the molecular mechanisms of smell in Drosophilia, or fruit flies. The objective of this study is to understand how the brain of the fly uses smell to appropriately adapt its behaviour to its environment. So we study the brain, and the brain is perhaps the most complex biological organ. How do brains sense signals in the environment? How do they represent this information as neuronal activity? And how do they induce behaviours sophisticated and appropriate? Answering these questions helps us answer one of the biggest scientific mysteries of how brains actually work. So brains show enormous diversity between different species. Think of the brains of humans or mice or fish or insects. And this diversity arises because brains have evolved to control the behaviours of animals living in very different ecological niches. And our project is aimed at trying to understand the genetic basis by which brains have diversified during evolution. And we address this question by studying the neural circuits underlying the sense of smell of the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster, as well as, as well as some of its close cousins. These species show very different behaviours in response to odours in the environment, but their neural circuits and their genomes are rather close, so it's quite easy to pinpoint where and how their neural circuits have changed so that they respond in different ways to the same odour. Although the nose of the fruit fly is simpler than ours, odour perception in these insects is similar to that in humans. This phenomenon is visible in the organisation of neural circuits and in the way they respond to odours. Therefore, what we learn from the drosophilia can help to better understand the neural circuitry of more complex brains. So our project addresses fundamental questions in neurobiology how brains are built, how they function, and how they change over time. But this basic knowledge is key to understanding what goes wrong in neurological diseases, which is a first step towards the development of appropriate treatments. But because we use the neural circuits underlying the sense of smell of Drosophila as our model system, our research can also help us understand and eventually control the odour-driven behaviours of pest insects for example, the findings of this study could help fight Drosophilia suzuki, or the spotted wing fruit fly, a pest which attacks crops of grapes and strawberries. The results could also help in the fight against certain human diseases. Malaria, dengue fever and sleeping sickness are all transmitted by insects such as mosquitoes and tsetse flies, and these insects rely on their sense of smell to find their hosts. Thus, this generous European support is making scientific advances in this field possible, and such support brings numerous advantages. First, it provides generous funding over five years, which allows us to have a long-term vision and attack important unsolved scientific questions. Second, it gives my group and our research topic a visibility. So I'm able to recruit excellent scientists from around the world who have training in diverse disciplines. And the visibility also allows us to communicate more effectively our research to a greater scientific and general public.